Okay, I'm, I'm just testing uh, Rain-X products. That side of the window I cleaned with the glass cleaner and Rain-X repellent. That's a mixture and a spray. I left the centre bit untreated and this side I treated with Rain-X uh, rain repellent, the, the proper stuff. Also the anti-mist stuff, the anti-fog stuff. That side I did with the wipes this side I did with the, the liquid in the black bottle. So anyway, I'm sat here now, it's just started to rain, it's quite light rain, and it, that's probably just spoilt my experiment over there slightly, though, but you've got to remember that's also treated with the Rain-X, but the dual purpose stuff, and I always find dual purpose stuff not as good as something that's made for a single purpose, as you'd expect. On this side here, you can actually see that quite a, a, a line, down this side where I treated it with the, the proper Rain-X repellent and the, the rain somehow <laughs> seems to be in smaller droplets and also it's running. Now I'll, I'll just do this with my camera here. I'll just do this with my... Um, okay, it's so difficult to... it's so difficult to be able to see it. I'm going to do it outside because you can't see it from in here. So that's, that's running, it's, uh, as you can see there, this is on the side with the rain repellent, but you can, from here, you, can, you should be able to see the patch in the centre that's not treated at all. With the polarising filter on, you should be able to see there, the, it's running. There's nothing, there's no wind or anything. You should be able to see the streaks there. And you should be able to see also the patch in the middle. That's where the rain X is treated up to. And then we've got the bit in the center. And then you'll see it's also, there is, there is a bit of a difference on this other side with the um, dual treatment, the glass cleaner and the rain repellent. So that's, there you go, you probably see it better from there. But the drops of rain on this side, there you go. So that seems to work. Of course, we're just stood still at the moment. And uh, let's just see if we can see it inside here, yeah, there. Right, now then, also, you've got to bear in mind this is very very scientific in our uh, laboratory here at Grosvenor Garage. Now the other thing if you see here the windscreen if I do that you'll see it all steaming up there you go all steaming up so you can see all that This has got the proper treatment for the misting. Nothing happening at all on this window. No steam, uh, condensation, uh, nothing. As I say, same thing over there. That's just steaming up straight away. And then this side's done with the wipes. So, nothing, nothing there with the wipes. There's, there's no, a oh, little bit there, I might, I might have missed that. Yeah, you can, you can actually see where I've missed it there. That's, that's poor workmanship. Not, I would say that's not, definitely not as good as, uh, definitely not as good as this side. That's, that's actually steaming up a little bit now. And, uh, You see the steam coming off my tea, but it's, uh, I can still see out of there pretty good. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I am, I am trying to, because uh, now I'm wet, so I am trying to steam it up a bit more because I've also got a heater, which I, I've got from Amazon. Um, but what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to go out in this now and see what happens without wipers, without using wipers. Because again, the Ami has only got one wiper and certainly when that side steams up and the wiper, of course you sat on the left hand side, when the wiper is just covering this arc, sometimes if you're looking across there, if there's, if there's cars coming out there, then, then it's, it just obscures your vision a little bit. So we'll see if it just clears it. But you see there that the repellent obviously makes a little bit of difference, the repellent and cleaning, because you'll see the, the, the beads there and how fine they are there. I mean, I, it just makes them bead into smaller drops, I think. So that's that. Right, let's, uh, oh, let's just try this. That's starting to run now, it's raining harder. But before, turn that off. Certainly before that side started to run, this side, that started to run a lot quicker. And let's just get going. This is a Skoda Fabia, of course, it's not the Citroen Ami, it would have been a better test in the Citroen Ami. I can actually see through the screen okay, even with these drops on. There you go, look at that. I mean, that, that is just incredible. That really is quite impressive. Um, you can see the side there that's been done with the, the, the rain repellent and glass cleaner. And this side here has just has been done with the proper rain X. I mean that that's just no wipers on her at all. So you've got that view and this view. It uh, it does what it says on the tin. Uh, of course, it's can. I'm, behind this coach now and there's spray coming off the road from the coach and you can see it's it's covering as we're driving it's it's renewing the spray on the screen but it's it's just all starting to bead and run off we've I've, no heater on no heater on everything switched off I'll, I'll put that on cold just so no residual comes through. And there you go, as soon as we get to, mind you that's 40 miles an hour. Um, so obviously I need to keep it to 28 to see if it's going to be effective in the uh, AMI. Of course as always whenever you're doing a test on anything there's always somebody driving right behind you. but. Doing 30 there. The coach is going, so that's going to help really not having a coach in front of me throwing the spray up. The 20, 28 there or thereabouts. It is, it is still beading, but I, I, I can drive like this. This, this is fine for me. Um, so I'd be able to drive the Ami like that. Nothing steamed up. Man, you, none of the other stuff's steamed up at the moment. So uh, I need to do something more about that when we get back to the garage. But that has to be the best. It's about six quid. That has to be the best six quid I've ever spent. Just beading off now. I'm going to turn around and go back to the garage. But before I do, I'll switch the engine off and uh, pull the handbrake on and take the key out of the ignition. Then I'll just photograph this, the uh, windscreen. So hopefully you'll be able to see better if you can't see from these cameras already. Sometimes the GoPros, well, it's strange really. 
Sometimes the GoPros make it look worse and sometimes they make it look better. I know uh, when I was out in the AMI, it's actually made it look worse from the cameras than what it was, but I think the camera lenses uh, were steaming up as well, so that wasn't helping. Although these things, these things get so hot, it's a, it's a wonder anything happens to them. I'm going to turn around just up here. And uh, hey, I did a, the the condensation test. My bathroom mirror, um, when it, obviously when you have your shower, the the mirror steams up. And I put Rain-X on it last night. And how you do it, you put it on and then uh, wait for it to dry and then just kind of buff it off. So I, I just put Rain-X, you know, just use a rag to write Rain-X on. And then, of course, this morning, um, I'd, I'd mostly forgot about it, but this morning, when I got out of the shower, I've got Rain-X written all over my mirror. But it, again, it worked. Right, OK. Part off, key out, everything's off. And I'll just uh, you see there the difference between the side that's coated with Rain-X and the side that isn't. That's uh, as I say. I'll <laughs> I'm thinking that's uh, a pretty good solution. We'll do 30 again. It's got a layer of rain mist on it. It's really obvious in the centre there again where I've not. It's more obvious when it's in the shade though and I, you can actually see it. But the, the bit that's not been treated is definitely uh, worse than both sides. So I, I would suggest that the uh, both products have a purpose and certainly I, I clean my uh, I clean my shower screen with the Rain-X blast cleaner and re repellent and that it did make a difference this morning when I was having a shower you know it was all, all running off there but that you know that looks like beads of mercury running off the screen I'm, I'm trying not to hold the traffic up. It is a. I'm going to. I'm going to pull over here and let them go past. It's a higher speed limit there than it is here, so uh, there we go. I'll just do. We'll do 25 because that's that's about the speed I get to in the morning when I'm coming to work. The, we're also starting to mist up a bit here. Uh, it, that may be, because you can, you can actually see swipes where it looks like I've missed it with a rag, but uh, over here, it, it's just, that's, that's clean as well. And I'm right next to this one, so if anything, this should be steaming up more. I wish it would rain harder and then we'd be able to test it better, but uh, sometimes that very fine rain is, is worse than the big drops. We're definitely steaming up now. But um, you know, a couple of comments about the AMI, you know, oh, it, oh, it, it all steams up. Well, I've not got the aircon on. And any car without aircon usually steams up as well if, you, if you're wet. And of course, they cost a heck of a lot more than the AMI. That's, 
that's a seriously impressive <laughs> liquid. Okay, just running off. I know, and we're doing, well, a little bit more than 28 mile an hour, but you know, even at 25 there, it's still running off. And plus the AMI's windscreen is, is more straight up than this. So uh, I would think there's more resist wind resistance in that. And you'll see the big, in the centre there, the big runs where that's starting to pool because it, it's that's sticking to the screen even more than the rain repellent side, the rain repellent and glass cleaner side. Well, I would say that is a uh, very successful test, really, even though, even though I say so myself. Let's say just, I'm going to get the camera on that. We'll try and get in the shade a little bit. The windows are up, everything's off. Okay, so I'm on the forecourt here, so <laughs> all, all you cyclists don't bother reporting me because I can do what I want on here. And that's the uh, engines off there. So again. See there, that, that's, look at that line there. That's where the product is, and that's where it's not being treated at all. And then as you get further over, it's not quite as obvious, but you, on that side. Now, here we go. This has got the proper um, mist defogger. Just nothing happening there. And so we'll go over here and you'll see there that's misting up straight away. Over here, yeah, it's, I, w I would say that that, that is misting. It's a lot better, it's a lot better, but just not, um, just not as good. I don't want to spill my tea. So there you go, another uh, another miss dispelled <laughs> by uh, on, on the AMI. I think if you buy those two products, the, the Rain X anti fog and the the Rain X rain repellent, I, I think you've got a usable car. I'll be interested to see as well what happens in, when, when it's icy, whether that has any effect on the ice, whether the ice comes off easier, or, or whether it, it you know it, it uh, doesn't form as thick. And this window at the back has not been coated with anything. And you can see there, so that's no coating whatsoever. That is the wipes. And that, which is absolutely crystal clear, is the anti-fog liquid thumbs up to uh, Rainex see you in the next video bye bye